Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about getting started with Selenium with Python. Okay, basically what exactly the Selenium is supported? A Selenium as a suit of software tools that is like grid, IDE, WebDriver and a grid it is having a multiple combination even you can able to come to here, here overview you can able to see selenium web driver it is basically selenium dot a dev website inside the documentation if you go inside that grid these three components you can able to see right grid id a web driver these are the three major tools are present here. And grid is basically it is a plugin for Chrome as well as Firefox extension. And we can able to record a test case and we can able to convert that into any programming language that we can able to use. A grid is basically we can able to connect with the multiple platforms to run mechanism like a cross browser testing. And we can able to use multiple system in node and hub related information like one one system we can able to keep it and we can able to run all the systems and our main concept is selenium web driver is basically ui automation purpose we are doing it is supported for ui only it is not supported for any api and any desktop application if you want to do with the selenium with the desktop application we need to install uh, use a uh, third party tools like uh, ro uh, auto it or uh, robotic keywords there are robotic keywords is nothing but to do the some operation on keyboard level auto it is basically to run third party tool we are going to invite it into a selenium that auto it to uploading file and those things we can able to do it some keywords we can able to use and we can able to use for auto it okay and this selenium basically UI, selenium supports all programming languages okay that's like java python ruby javascript and perl php this all the programming language it is going to support okay now in my previous videos i completed four java with the selenium okay Jalin, java with the selenium i completed now i am going to complete for selenium with python okay next we will go for javascript that after that php will be perl like that we can able to go for one one programming language what are the languages that is supported for selenium those things we can able to do for some automation scripts here okay and it's a easy to install into your system and you can able to utilize okay and also now latest version for selenium is basically a four four is the standard version and even you can able to see here the download places if you go for the download you can able to see the latest stable version is 4.5.3 is the stable version for grid okay even you can able to go for inside you can able to check what is the selenium latest version is supporting for your uses okay here you can able to see some uh, browser related information you can able to do and here operating system level you can able to do all the things you can able to check here okay even you can able to see nugget is a latest version 4.5.0 it is basically it is supported for c sharp okay uh, who are going to work for dot net uh, environment those people can able to download for 4.5.0 is the latest version for them okay even you can able to if you are not able to understand here which is the latest version for this particular one means you can able to check for maven or rip if you search this one you can able to get for maven repository go to here and search for selenium 
okay if you click the selenium with java then you can able to see there are n number of versions which version it is presented sir like that you can able to see here okay and even you can able to come to here it is the latest version is latest stable version is 4.5.3 and if you go more and repo it is our latest version it is presented here 4.5.3 right you can you can able to use that latest version itself here as well as here anything you can able to do it okay it is supported for uh, even it is not supporting any reporting tools it does not have any uh, reporting tools if you want to use this reporting means we need to add for cucumber reports or extended reports like that we can able to invite some different kind of reports even it's html reports this kind of information we can able to pull into that in this particular uh, programming language and we can able to utilize to generate for our reports okay this is all about for introduction and uh, saying for that python and i hope you understand this one if you like this video please like me please subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to share your friends and colleagues thank you